If you're looking for amazing mac and cheese and great craft beer, all in a family-friendly spot, then the backyard in Seabrook, Texas is the place to be. Come on and let's take a look. When you're traveling through Texas, you're bound to get hungry. Join Joe as he eats his way to the Lone Star State. This is Texas Chronicles Pit Stop with Joe Perez. So we specialize in uh, gourmet mac and cheeses, but that is not all that we have on the menu. We are a lot more than just mac and cheese, uh, but I think a lot of people know us for uh, our specialty mac and cheeses. I mean, we have, an, we have an OG mac, which is more of a traditional mac and cheese where you can, you can add on anything from, from bacon, jalapenos, a fried egg. But then we also have some specialty mac and cheeses that, we, you know, that are on the menu. The most popular would be the Nola mac, which is shrimp and dewy sausage, peppers, onions, and it's probably our most popular mac, the Viet mac. Uh, which is going to be topped with sriracha, it's got ginger in it, it's kind of like our take on, on pho. And it has 44 farm steak on top, uh, and then the elote mac, which is street corn. I always recommend getting avocado on top of that one, it's, uh, it's also very good. And then we have, we have a few others on the menu, we actually have over 100 uh, mac recipes, but uh, we have about 10 on the menu, and we rotate in different macs every week. Some of our most popular items that are not mac and cheese are the Korean pork cracklins, which is uh, fried pork belly comes with uh, a sweet honey garlic sauce. We have honey garlic wings. We have tamarind habanero wings, and our wings are fantastic. We have uh, fried avocado bites, which is basically just avocado rolled up into a ball, fried and served with a cilantro lime ranch. That is our, by far, our most popular appetizer. We have a couple salads. We have a, a wedge salad. Uh, we have a seasonal salad. And right now we have one soup. We have an arbol corn chowder that has some nice kick to it. It's, it's phenomenal. The backyard has vegan and vegetarian options also. We do. Um, we want to try to cater to everybody that we can. So, get the people what they want, right? We have a vegan and gluten-free. They're the same one. All uh, plant-based, even the cheese. And um, it's pretty popular, man. It's, uh, I'm not a fan of vegan food to begin with, but it's, it's not bad. Uh, so we have 12 beers on tap at all time, generally one cider. Um, they do rotate, so as soon as we blow one thing, we'll put on a new beer or cider. Um, and we generally try and keep a good variety. Come to the backyard uh, because I, I, I think it's, it's just different than anything else around here. Um, you have a good size area uh, for the kids to come out and enjoy themselves while the, you know, all the parents sit at the table and, and have a glass of wine or a beer and, and, and eat some food. Um, the area itself, just Old Seabrook, it's just such a, a phenomenal, phenomenal area and, and we love being a part of this community. Um, and uh, just, 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 like I said, just the, the, the feel of the place. Uh, it just has that homey vibe. I wanted a place where you felt like you were at home but not at home. You know, I want people to walk in here and feel like they're walking into a home and that's what I hear every day when I'm here. I love watching people's reaction when they walk in and see uh, what we've done to this place. Um, you know, it looked very different before we got in here and, and I, think, uh, I think we did exactly what we were aiming to do. 